All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another video. All right, y'all, so um, we've been talking about this a lot. Everybody knows that UFC 300 is coming up in a few months. Well, you know, about another three, four months, right? April 13th. And um, I've asked the question, you know, I've asked the question to a lot of y'all, uh, what WMMA fights would y'all like to see on UFC 300 card, right? And um, I was just kind of going through it through my mind. And of course, there's a number of fights I want to see. So there pro there'll probably be another video I do a live stream where we're talking about it because I don't want to get too greedy and crazy. But like I'd say I'm going to try to pick four fights tops, you know, from the the prelims level up to the championship level. Right. That's how I was doing it. And when I put my matchmaking hat on, I'm like, OK, these what fights would I want to see for the 300 card? Um, and, and just keeping it keeping it real and not trying to be too, you know, crazy with it. Like, oh, man, I want to see all 16 fights is female fights or something like that you know i'm just trying to do it how they do it pick three or four and let that be it maybe five tops but this particular fight man i think makes a lot of sense right now for a number of reasons that's why i wanted to do a video on this one because this would be a good fit for 300 i mean if you're looking for action and significance right now i think that this is a chapter that needs to be closed out right now rose nami Yunus versus jessica andrade three at 125 and i say this for a number of reasons you know number one first off you know rose nami Yunus, she posted this on her ig a little while back well not a little while back but maybe like a few days ago like last week she posted that you know she's coming back posted a picture of her training saying hey she's still going for gold she's still trying to be great and she said hashtag flyweight right and everybody knows rose came in made her debut against Manon, came up short competitive fight but you know she came up short but i think she learned her lesson as far as growing into the division and filling into the division right you know you, you got to grow into it you know you, you can have the skills but you physically got to grow into the division and i think she learned that you know that's why she's been working on that wrestling and grappling a lot and trying to you know put on some muscle but in the meantime you know you know as she's growing you you have to kind of go on a search for an opponent for her to see where she fits in right and with somebody like Rose Namajunas, where she stands right now, and, you know, just with her her resume and the accomplishments, I don't see them starting all the way at the bottom like Alexa Grasso. You know, Alexa Grasso, she wasn't a champ from strawweight, so when she came in, she had the time to kind of go through the growth process. But the way Rose Namajunas thinks, you know, she's kind of always on the either on one side or this side of, being hyped up to fight and then not wanting to fight anymore right so i think with her she's more on a time clock where she needs to fit in there and what better way than to go ahead and take on somebody like jessica andrade who is already ranked because at the moment you know jessica andrade uh, is also looking for an opponent you know she's ranked number five uh rose nama Yunus, i know she's looking for an, an opponent you know matchmakers looking for somebody for her but everybody's taking right now right everybody's taken and if she wants to make a comeback and be active in such a you know tough strong division right now you got to get in there right now you know you got to get in there and try to fit in and, and get an opponent because this this division is moving you know rose uh like i said probably wouldn't want to start at the bottom you know i, I don't see her you know i, I did say her, her and arian Lipsky would be a good fight but i don't see her starting all the way at the bottom like even against number 12 or taking on a macy barber you know, Macy Barber's already got somebody, you know, so I don't see that happening. You know, I, I think somebody like Rose wants to try to get in there now because she feels like her skills can hang. And it's not really just about skills of her. She probably feels like, OK, if I can put on the strength and the muscle and if I could go three rounds with uh, with somebody like Manon, then this should be no problem. Right. Because, yeah, Rose definitely definitely has the skills, the footwork and she is a good striker and and she's good with her jujitsu. I think she actually just needs to find a point to fill it out and take on somebody like Jessica Andrade. It makes sense, you know, because Jessica Andrade is already ranked. Uh, Jessica Andrade, she's looking for an opponent. You know, in her last interview, she said, I done fought everybody at straw weight. So it's just, it's just kind of like trying to find out who can I fight. Like, I want to fight at 115, you know, go for a title shot again, but there's really nobody to fight there, right? And which is true she's fought everybody there she said i might have to go back to 125 she mentioned Manon, but you know she's already taken as well so when you really look at it rose nami Yunus is looking for a spot to fit in and get ranked you know there's nobody else available except the number five 
And Jessica Andrade is looking for somebody. Nobody else available except this fighter right here who's trying to get ranked. And it would be a good turnaround time. You know, the Manon fight with Rose, that was back in September. So coming back in what October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, or April, that's going to be about seven months. So Rose had plenty of time to kind of mentally recover and build up her strength and train. And she'll be taking on a familiar opponent. You know, so yeah, to me, that's a good fight. And their styles put together make for a good matchup also for 300. You know, it won't be like this little tit for tat, Carlos Spars and Rose type of fight. You know, it won't be that type of matchup. It's going to be an aggressive come forward fight from Andrade. And it's going to be a good striking match from Rose. And who knows, like, these girls might actually try to make adjustments in here and fight more in the clinch. Like, we might see Rose try to use her muscle at flyweight a little bit more and get go for more takedowns. You know, you might see it spent more time on the ground. But when these two fight, you will see blood. And right now, 300 is going to need some blood. And they need a good representation from WMA. And I think two former champs like Rose, you know, when you match Rose up and Jessica Andrade, their, their two styles together make for a great fight. And what better way to kind of get ranked for what, – what better way for Rose to get ranked right now, fall right in at number five after taking on, you know, the number one contender and then um, closing that chapter with Jessica Andrade as well. You know, um, and, and, I, and I think that would be the best fight for Andrade right now, too. Like, if she can't find anybody, everybody's taking it flyweight, and you've already beat everybody at strawweight. Um, Style-wise, at 125, I think that would be a safe fight for her, too, at Rose, you know, if they want to close this chapter. So, yeah, good good fight, too, man. I just think that the first fight was good. I, had, I picked Rose to win that one. I thought she was doing a good job of fighting on the feet, you know, outclassing Andrade, but Andrade got her hands on her, slammed her. Second fight, they, they went to war. You know, Rose got her nose broke. She stayed in the fight, got wobbled. Uh, Andrade was taking her best shot. She got taken down in the fight by Rose. So Rose is kind of sneaky in there with the moves. And they just make for an action-packed fight. So I think that putting these two women together again to kind of close that chapter out and kind of revisit history again with, you know, with a landmark, you know, with a landmark car like this, you know, it's going to be a big event, kind of going back and repeating history, but at the same time bringing something new. You know what I mean? Like these two done it before, but they got to close this chapter out. But at the same time, it's at a new weight class, you know, a weight class where Rose wants to see if she can build herself back up. A weight class where Andrade is familiar and, um, you know, also could jump back into the mix. Right. But more so. So Rose and I'm going can get ranked at this point. I think this is probably the best fight for her with everybody else taking Aaron and Manon going to do their title contender fight, their title eliminator. Uh, Grasso, Ship, Tango's taken, Barber, everybody's taken except Andrade. So if Rose wants to get ranked, it's a perfect fight for her. You know, so yeah, I want to see this one uh, for UFC 300. Put it on the main card, you know, as like the opener. You know, it could just be a three-round fight. It ain't got to be a five-round fight at the top. You know, definitely ain't worthy of that at this point at 300, but it could be like the opener for the pay-per-view card, you know, for the main for the main card. But yeah, guys, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I got a few more fights in my mind. Like I said, I'll probably jump on it live and we'll talk about uh, what fights you like to see for UFC 300. But what do y'all think about this one? This Nami Yunus on drive rubber match. Close it out. Put on some action for WMMA. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.